Are you listening? Hi there, this is Dee, and I want to welcome you to the debut of Big A Divas, aka Bad TV. I want to take a moment and thank each and everyone who decided to join me for day one. It's truly exciting to create a positive platform for my BBWs and plus size community. Today, I wanted to do a short introduction to let you know who I am and what this channel is all about. From my experience, even with a business degree, four completed and published novellas, education, a desire to excel, a hard work mindset, it's still difficult for BBWs, overweight people, and people of color to move up. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not against any other YouTube channel. However, I haven't found a channel which speaks to me as a black BBW who's an independent author and an all-out knowledge junkie. There are so many different YouTube channels out there with different topics. So I decided I would start a channel that addresses the struggles of BBWs in America. I want this channel to provide an ongoing dialogue for BBWs and the plus size community with topics like negative issues in the plus size community, positive issues in the plus size community, who do you know that deserves a shout out, calling all authors, storytellers, and writers, and just so you know to showcase new indie authors. Some of the negative issues I will address on BADTV are BBW career roadblocks, corporate collusion efforts to keep America overweight, entertainment and publishing industries refusal to represent the plus size community in a positive light, fat shaming, disparity in the plus size community, and many more topics to come. Positive topics I want to promote. BBW empowerment through learning, BBW's balling out of control, winning regardless of their weight issues, and did you know plus size people represent approximately 69% of the American population? Can anybody say buying power? And let's push the message, I'm plus size and loving myself regardless of what others say. I think it's important to give shout outs to people who are doing positive things in the plus size community. I wanna take a moment and give a shout out to a person named Lisa Robertson. When a family member was about to lose her child to the system, Lisa stepped up and decided to help her family member out. Even though she's only 25 and about to have her first child, she decided to take on a child to keep that baby out of the system. Can everybody say, you go girl. I'd like to take a moment and call out all authors, storytellers, and writers. If you have a book or a story you would like to be reviewed and promoted, contact me in the email below and I will reach out to you about your work. Send over your book name, author information, where it's being sold, and a link to your book. All requests will be reviewed and treated on a book-by-book -book basis. Remember, everything must meet YouTube requirements. I just want to let you know about a website called Wattpad. Wattpad is a website which allows you to read, write, and publish stories for free. The premise is to help you build a following and gain feedback from other authors and readers. Also, if you post a story in Wattpad and it catches the eye of someone on the corporate level, your book could be selected to be published or become a movie just like The Kissing Booth by Beth Rickles. Now, honestly, from what I've seen, both Wattpad.com and Inkit.com are great outlets to gain a following for your book. However, I have yet to see them cater to the 7.4 billion people on the planet. What that means is, it appears that they are not very diverse in their selection of books to publish and turn into movies. Diversity, please, just keep it at 100. When I started my account with Webpad on May 23, 2018, I was suffering from severe depression. 
I needed an outlet to talk about the things that were bothering me, write down my feelings, and get feedback from people who wouldn't judge me. Now, I suggest that if you are suffering from depression, please get professional help. But keep in mind, writing down your feelings is a great way to deal with your issues. At Marcus Mitra is the username for the author of The Fairy Squad Princess's Magical Awakening. His book is published on Amazon and the link to his work can be found below. This story takes place in a magical universe where teenage fairy princesses are forced to balance high school and the occasional battle with teenage witches. This is a great book for anyone who loves the idea of magic and teenage fun. At Tierra 16 is the username for the author of Unwanted. While on vacation, a beautiful black college student becomes the love interest of a Chinese mob boss. Unfortunately, sometimes being wanted is not all it's cracked up to be. This story will take you to the end of your seat and knock the breath out of you. Head on over to Wattpad and check out this fascinating series. At Love for Word is the username for the author of The Lower East Side. His books are published on Amazon and his poetry can be found on Wattpad.com. Edward Lear is a soulful thinker who has a way of touching you deeply with his words. His ability to craft images using words touches your mind, body, and soul. Feel free to check out his work on Wattpad.com. Anthony's Tumblin is the username for the author of The Dividing Line. The Dividing Line can be found on Amazon and Wattpad.com. When a fourth-generation neo-Nazi is betrayed by his family because of jealousy and greed, what happens when his, his life is placed in the hands of the people he hates the most? Yes, of course, it's a black woman. This is for a mature audience. At Reese the Novelist is the username for the author of In the Streets I Thrive. This story can be found on Wattpad.com. It explores love, loyalty, and friendship and how it's handled in the streets. Let's not forget, the lead is a queen pen, and she lives her life according to the street code. Cross her and you die. End of discussion. This story is gritty and raw, and it's for a mature audience. Just as hip-hop artists and rappers are pursuing their dreams on social media such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, authors are forced to do the same. Entertainment and publishing companies don't take into account that the world is a smaller place and people want to see themselves represented in movies and books. Please stop by and support these up-and-coming artists. We need your support. I want to leave by saying I believe it takes determination and willpower to accomplish anything. I also believe sometimes it takes meeting the right people to catapult you to the next level of success. My desire is for the Big A Divas or Bad TV channel to be that catapult. So come prepared to join in and share your accomplishment, goals, and let's help one another. If you have a topic in mind, message me in the comments section. I will message you back if I decide to use your suggestion in the future. If you would like to promote anything on this channel, please contact me at the links below. And don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I look forward to building this platform and I need your help. Don't forget to join me on Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time for more BAD TV. Thanks for watching and remember, it's time for us to unite and level up. See you on Tuesday, August the 14th. And trust me, you don't want to miss this.